3D printing is a finicky craft. Sometimes things will print perfectly. Sometimes most of the mini will be okay, but a tail or something else easy to fix fails to print. And sometimes you end up with a mess. I keep these failures. I'm unsure what I'll do with most of them, but you never know when they'll be the perfect thing for a project. In fact, while I was considering throwing this guy into the bin, I realized he might be perfect. He was sitting on my desk and I thought, doesn't it look like he's fallen down, brandishing his knife against something? But what, I wonder? Well, obviously I thought of a dragon. Maybe a nasty black dragon in a lagoon. But dragons are, uh, big. And this little guy felt more suited to a smaller scene. In fact, I have the perfect mini already painted. This is the Carrion Crawler from WizKids, originally painted to be a Dagobah slug for my Star Wars game. It's menacing, gross, swampy, and the perfect adversary for my little axolotl. Now how do I want to stage them together? Well, the axolotl is still pretty obviously a failed print. His leg is pancaked and his butt isn't flat so I need to solve that. If he looks like he fell in water, it'll mask a lot of the weirdness of the failed print, so I have the perfect solution. I am experienced in using resin since I began my tabletop crafting journey by making dice. Resin is perfect for making water effects, and I can make a base at the same time. This is a cheap coaster mold, and it's the perfect size for this little scene. Now, with all of my work, I want this to be more than just a diorama. I want to be able to use the slug on the tabletop if the opportunity arises. Cutting a strip of plastic from a drinking cup, I've made a dam as close to the same size as the slug's base as possible. The two sides are sealed with just a bit of packaging tape. I'm using this big bottle to hold it in place as I don't want a chance having the actual model get cured into place. Luckily, whatever plastic this bottle is doesn't adhere well to resin, at least not in small amounts. A little resin will leak into the dam, but it won't be hard to peel off later. So to begin, I'm going to pour black. It'll hide the failures of the print and make a nice base. I poured about 10 milliliters of resin colored with alcohol ink five parts A and B since this is a two-part resin. It ended up making the base a bit thicker than I wanted, but any thinner and it would be unlikely to cover the whole base. Using a toothpick, make sure it spreads to the thin area in the back and hits all the edges. The resin I use takes a day to cure, which is slow, but gives it more time to get rid of bubbles naturally. Okay, so it's the next day, and we'll pop the base free. Like I said, the dam had a bit of leaking, but not a problem. It snaps free without trouble, and still fits the slug perfectly. So now we'll work on cleaning up this huge gap on the slug from where the base is warped and make the diorama more interesting with a bit of terrain sculpture. I'm using Sculpt-A-Mold, a basic molding paste that you just need to add water to. I also added a bit of black acrylic paint to make it darker. That's just a personal preference. This stuff dries hard and actually adheres to the resin quite well. It's not perfect, some thin areas can get scraped off, but it'll be fine since we're going to be hitting this with a second resin layer anyway. While the sculpt mold is wet, we're going to add my good old recycled tea and coffee for texture and various mosses for foliage. Alright, this is looking good, but the tones are weird, which I realize might be a problem since both the minis are painted already. So I'm going to cover the two minis as best I can with cling wrap and get ready to base this all in black. I have a new airbrush, which I've never used before, so let's see how it goes. Well, it technically works, but I'm unsure if I've diluted it too much or what, but it's taking forever to turn dark. Maybe good for soft coloring, but not so great for getting a unified color. So I'm going back to old faithful rattle can for the axolotl. I'll play more with airbrush some other time. With everything nice and black, I'm going in with greens and browns to add some dim, swampy colors. The slug and the axolotl really stand out in the diorama, but that's by design. Not really a realism person. I'm more interested in showcasing the miniatures and the theatrics of it all. Dry brush the scenery to add a bit of color, and that'll make just enough light. This is looking good. I think we're ready for our last resin pour. 
This one's gonna be tricky. I wanted to try and pour the slug in the diorama at the same time, but it doesn't fit, which is worrisome. Not sure what I screwed, but it's too late to go back. Gotta go forward. To color the resin, I used a tiny amount of blue and yellow alcohol ink since I don't have green. Even one drop of alcohol ink is strong, so with such a small amount of resin, in order to not over tint, I dropped the color onto a stick first and then mixed. I also added this glitter that I unfortunately don't know what it is. I, I bought it from a craft thrift store. It's oddly heavy and tends to sink, but it's really pretty. To try and make the water effect more sludgy, I also added dried coffee, but after my resin set, I realized I should have added more. I was concerned about the dry medium causing bubbles, but that didn't really happen. So my resin turned out pretty clear, but it's still nice. Now it's a very placid swamp at the moment. Not what I'm going for since he's supposed to have fallen into the water. So time for good old reliable Mod Podge, a staple of water effects. I did something wrong or the version I have isn't quite right, but I couldn't get it to do anything but make vague ripples. It does at least break up the surface, so I'll call that a success. This was super fun, and I intend to make more resin dioramas. Water is just such a cool effect. I encourage any 3D printers out there to hold on to your failures. Check them out every so often. You never know when something will feel perfect for a project. Thanks so much for watching, and remember safety when messing with resin. Safety helps you take care and have fun.